I won't stop till I hear him say The XRP ledger, guys and gals, really pay attention. Turn up the volume. If you have friends and family around you, go tap them on their shoulder. Tell them, listen, tune in to what it is that I'm about to read. This guy's about to read some life-changing information to you, not financial advice, but go ahead and tap in real quick, okay? Poor enough followers and social media platforms can become a major money-making opportunity for influencers in the crypto space. We've seen it. But a CBC investigation is finding that some online personalities get paid thousands to endorse crypto projects, but in some cases, regulators say these influencers are merely promoting frauds. And the amateur investors who pour their savings into these dubious ventures end up paying the price. Amy Javers has more. Okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. As always, if you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies, commodities, indices, foreign exchange, please go ahead and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Guys and gals, I have a jam-packed video for you all here today. Make sure that you guys go ahead and you smash that thumbs up button, help boost the YouTube algorithm. It does take precious time to create these YouTube videos for you all. So we really do appreciate it here at CyberX. We're going to be covering some fundamental analysis on XRP. I'm going to share some interesting documents that I found with you guys on the internet. Then I'm also going to cover some interesting technical analysis. But before we jump into all that, I want to remind you all that once we reach 10,000 YouTube subs, we we are going to be giving back to our community on YouTube by giving away 100 XRP along with the CyberX hat and t-shirt. I also want to remind you that guys and gals, once we reach our payments threshold for the month of August, we are going to be doing another $50 XLM giveaway. Remember last month in July, we gave away $50 of this $704 that we earned from YouTube. I'm very transparent with you guys. Remember the videos back in uh, July? where we got this June paycheck because the, the YouTube algorithm is a month behind. So they pay you a month uh, behind for the work that you do on YouTube. And I showed you guys how much money we make on YouTube and how much money all these other influencers are racking up from you all, which is why I displayed that little news channel video to you guys. Make sure that you all are careful via who you are paying attention to on the YouTube space. There are thousands of scammers out there. I'm gonna break that down for you guys here in today's video technical analysis breakdown. But again, just to show you guys that we are transparent with our YouTube audience, with our technical analysis, and with our Twitter followers, we're gonna be doing another giveaway once we do get that August payment threshold met um, for the YouTube algorithm and Google AdSense consensus, right? So. Blessings to you guys all right now. You guys can see that the balance is still zero. So we're waiting on that. That should update this upcoming week. I'm hoping so that way we can give away some more cryptocurrency on this YouTube channel. Again, this is just to spread cryptocurrency awareness. I don't really see any other YouTube uh, channels doing this, really kind of talking through how much money I actually make from you guys viewing this content. You guys can see that the first paycheck that we got here was around $704. And I make roughly about 1,000 to 2,000 views on average per YouTube video I upload. So if you guys are watching these YouTube moon boys, which I'm going to go into in just one second, or these peoples um, that have, you know, over 50,000 YouTube subscribers that are getting 7,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 views per YouTube. I mean, compared to how much money I make on YouTube, you guys can compare that based off of me only making a thousand to 2000 views per YouTube video. So go ahead and just make sure you smash that thumbs up button. So that way you guys understand that we are one of those YouTube channels that is very transparent with our audience. And I'm going to share that all with you guys via technical analysis here today. So I have a couple of tweets stuck on the charts here for you guys. And again, this is just to spread cryptocurrency awareness and show you guys time and time again that these influencers, they do not have it out for your best interest. But here at CyberX, I'm going to share with you all a tweet that we put out just recently, trying and attempting to save people's portfolios, giving people value in the technical analysis that we provide, calling out logical targets, reasonable targets, and hopefully you guys are following us on Twitter and it is saving your portfolio. Nothing that we constitute here is financial advice. At the end of the day, you all still need to 
make your own trading decisions. But this is just an analysis to show you all that we put our money where our mouth is. And hopefully if you guys are following us on Twitter, then your portfolio is still in the green in comparison to following all these other scammers out there. So I have some, again, tweets posted for you guys. You guys can see this little tiny uh, annotation tool right here on TradingView. You can copy the tweets and paste them onto your charts. And this little gray line shows you exactly where the tweets were posted. So I have some XRP influencers who posted some tweets recently on XRP. And I'm just going to share with you um, their tweets and show you all um, the price decline that happened as soon as they posted these tweets. Now, you guys have to ask yourself, each of these individuals has more than 20,000 um, Twitter followers. And again, this isn't to bash these individuals. I don't know these people personally, but I'm just showing you all time and time again that this crypto space, again, spreading cryptocurrency awareness is extremely manipulated and extremely saturated. Make sure that you all are careful. I do videos like this to spread cryptocurrency awareness. So we see right here, XRP whale, he tweeted out on July 30th, at uh, about 2.50 p.m., which is, again, the market reset, when the market resets itself, roughly when New York session transitions over into Asia session, which is just interesting to say the least. But XRP Whale tweeted out XRP pumping big time. He tweeted that out at a top. So remember, this individual has, I think, if I'm not mistaken, over 50,000 Twitter followers, right? So as soon as he tweeted out and since he's tweeted this out, you guys can see that XRP price has declined over 18%. Right. So if you were buying based off of what XRP whale tweeted out right here, just because of his name and because of his Twitter influence, right, making your trading decisions based off of these influencers, your portfolio would be in the red right now. Okay. So same thing here. We can see he made another tweet right here. XRP bottomed weeks ago. Okay. This is a tweet he put out on August 15th at roughly around, mm, let's just say 1249 AM. Uh, August 15th. All right. He said XRP bottom right here. Had you have bought when he tweeted this out again, just be mindful, making sure that you're not basing your trades off of these crypto influencers, guys and gals, your portfolio would be negative 12%. Same thing here. We see this guy XRP King Diago. I see him post analysis all the time. That is absolutely incorrect. Okay. He said XRP is about to pop real hard. You guys can see right here via this gray line where he posted that tweet at on August 16th, uh, roughly at about 11.19 p.m. And since then, XRP price has declined roughly around 11% in value. So again, they're tweeting all this information after XRP has pumped, after the price analysis has given you a return and the market's already starting to decline from people taking profit. Okay. Again, these individuals have no ideology behind what it is that they're tweeting out. They simply just follow trends. They follow bullish candlesticks. And you guys are going to get annihilated if you're paying attention to these types of tweets. Last but not least, we see another tweet from XRP Whale showing you guys time and time again that these individuals literally tweet at tops. It's insane. And the market is so saturated. Remember when I created Cyperx, I've said to you guys, the core ideology behind Cyperx and the creation of this trading community was to provide value to individuals, not only in our, fund our fundamental analysis, but in our technical analysis and our psychological analysis as well. Okay, so XRP whale tweeted out, XRP is ready for takeoff. I've never been so serious in my life. Here we go. He tweeted this on August 18th at almost 2.30 in the morning. And since then, you guys can see since that tweet came out again, an 11% decline in value. But again, he's never been so serious in his life. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete all these tweets because it's kind of annoying having them on my charts. But just to show you guys that we put our money where our mouth is at, I want to take you all over to our Twitter. Again, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, it's, it's hard to find our Twitter because we are shadow banned. We speak the truth on our Twitter page and Twitter does not like that algorithm via the keywords that we post. So they've shadow banned our Twitter. So you cannot actually go and search my Twitter name, which is C Demanincorp. Okay. What you have to do is in the link in the description down below in our YouTube videos, you have to copy the Twitter link and post it in your browser. And then our uh, Twitter page will pop up. You can't just search our Twitter page. Go ahead and test that um, out and let me know if you guys have any issues searching our Twitter name and then via compared to if you copy and paste the link in the description 
um, into your internet browser. But you guys can see here roughly at around 5.21 p.m. August 18th, 2022, I tweeted out hashtag XRP and I gave you guys some bearish targets. 35 cents and 33 and a half cents just to be mindful of. And you guys can see via the correlation with the charts. When I posted that tweet, you guys can see the little tiny gray line right at the bottom of this bearish candlestick. I'm going to give you guys the ideology behind why I was tweeting those bearish targets out. And again, you guys can see those bearish targets came into fruition. We have 35 cents to the T and we also have 33 and a half cents met to the T again, the level of accuracy is as if we have a time machine here at Cyprex, but it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with logic in the market. So let me explain to you guys why I tweeted this out to you all real fast before we dive into these amazing documents that I found on the internet via fundamental analysis that I want to share with you guys and I want you all to pay attention to. Let's first dive into why it was that I was telling you guys this. So I've mentioned for quite some time here at Cyprex that we've developed a strategy that trades against retail methodologies. So when we're trading against retail methodologies, we're going to jump to the four hour chart. We need to be mindful of retail pattern structures in the market. Why? Because we know that bank and institutions seek to attack liquidity in the form of retail trading manipulation zones, right? So here, if we draw a little tiny retail trend line on, okay, again, you guys can go look up the definition of a trend line. Retail traders are taught via people that charge thousands of freaking dollars for their courses that literally teach you how to trade trend lines or support resistance methodologies. I've literally seen it time and time again. Here's a screenshot of one of our Cyprex mentors. He is still active on Instagram, and he sent me a screenshot the other day of somebody literally charging over $6,000 for their course, okay? And in their course material, all they teach is support resistance methodologies and how to read fundamentals. People are paying thousands of dollars for information that you can find for free online. However, here at Cyprex, that teaches you things that you cannot find on the internet for free. Again, trading against retail methodologies. We do not teach support resistance methodologies. We do not teach trend lines. We don't teach indicators. We don't teach order blocks or Wyckovian theory. That is all stuff that you can find for free on the internet. We teach how bank and algorithmic traders trade on an institutional base level based off of psychological levels, based off of manipulation, and based off of time. Okay, that is reality in this market. Anything else, any other fluff in this market, guys, is misleading you to misinformation. So here we can see a triple touch of a trend line, one, two, and three. What I like to tell the students is most of the time when you see this triple touch of a trend line, that means that retail traders are building liquidity for the bank and institutions to come and grab. The bank and institutions are manipulating this type of price action. This is called pre-engineered liquidity. The bank and institutions know that retail traders exist. You guys can even see it here. We see a triple touch of a trend line, one, two, and three. And the bank and institutions before going higher came and grabbed that money out of the market. And what do they do? If I turn on my session indicators based off of logic and what it is that I teach you guys, we would be able to see that bank and institutions bought down here during this general vicinity and came and pushed price action down at the discount and then took buys after liquidating retail traders. Well, it's the same concept in this type of technical analysis here when I tweeted out to you guys roughly in this general vicinity that we were going to drop lower based off the ideology that we saw a whole bunch of trend line manipulation in this general vicinity. Cindy. Guys and gals, it is not hard. So with all that being said, let's dive into the technical analysis update and where I think XRP price is headed at in the near future before we jump over to the internet and I show you guys these interesting fundamentals. So I tweeted out to you guys that 32 cents must hold or else we will see most likely the June lows liquidated beneath over leveraged buyers that attempted to buy this quote unquote dip beneath these June lows from individuals who thought that the bottom was in. Right. With that being said, I also mentioned to you guys on Twitter that until we break above May highs and April highs, I'm not screaming that the bottom is in on XRP. Now, I also mentioned to you guys that I'm not adding to my long term bag portfolio unless price on XRP is beneath 32 cents, which I have marked off for you guys as well. And that is because on average, the price that I've bought in on XRP is roughly at around 17 to 19 to 25 cents way back in 2017. So for me, price isn't really discounted unless it's below 32 cents. With all of that being said, 
I'm still looking for intraday trading positions as long as price remains above these psychological levels, i.e. 32 to 33 to 35 and a half cents. And if we can break back above these psychological levels, I'd mention to you guys that we are most likely going to come and clear out the liquidity above these highs and come and push up into roughly around 41 to 45 to maybe even 50 cents, as long as this 32 cent threshold holds. Now, if we get a bearish daily candlestick beneath this 32 cent threshold, I said to you guys that all hell is most likely going to break loose. Most likely we are going to see Bitcoin drop below 20K and maybe even come and attack those June lows roughly at around $17,500 on Bitcoin. And that is going to mean that XRP is going to follow suit. The first initial place that I have buy limit set for you guys here established on YouTube is roughly at around 25 cents. Do I believe that XRP price is going to drop lower? And do I believe that XRP price could potentially drop lower? Absolutely. Guys and gals, it is a possibility and something to consider. Again, remember I said I have specific areas of interest that I have that I want to buy XRP price at. Not financial advice, but I highly advise that you guys stop chasing these moon boys. You guys can clearly see based off of what I just showed you all on Twitter that they are telling you pretty much to buy at tops. And you guys have seen declines in your portfolio, most likely if you're taking trading advice from these individuals. Whereas if you follow us on Twitter, when we're telling individuals that the market is going to drop into these significant areas, now if price decides to buy off based off of where bank and institutions bought from in previous day sessions, i.e. from these lows, then you are most likely going to see an appreciation in your overall portfolio. Remember, we teach people how to buy at lows based off of getting the best bang for our buck based off of giving ourselves an edge in the market, based off of logic in the market. Guys and gals, it is not hard to do. I hope that this technical analysis update kind of helped you guys out. Again, I'm not adding to my long-term bags on XRP unless price drops beneath that 32 cent threshold. If it does, the first initial place that I have buy limit set for XRP is 25 and a half cents. Am I hoping for this? Absolutely. So that way I can secure more long-term holdings on XRP. If it does not, what I will seek to do is if the market sets itself up for a nice retracement, gives a fractal break in structure and establishes a higher low, I will seek to take intraday scalping positions back to the upside and seek to take positions on my leveraged Osprey FX account via how I trade XRP. So you guys have my technical analysis. There is a potential for a move back to the downside. If we break on the daily chart, that 32 cent threshold and we close bearish, most likely the next target is going to be roughly at around 25 cents. I'll be looking out for that. And if these levels hold in the form of bullish demand or any type of supportive region where bank and institutions seek to buy from these discounted regions where they bought from previous, as you guys can see, we will seek to ride the wave via intraday scalping positions back to the upside to come and clear out June and maybe even May highs. Okay. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed that technical analysis. Now let's jump over to the interesting part of the fundamental aspect that I have to share for you guys. Don't forget that once we do meet that payment threshold on the Google AdSense for YouTube and you guys viewing this content, we are going to be giving away another $50 worth of XLM. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel, smash that thumbs up button, giving you guys the clarity and the realness in the market that you all deserve as crypto followers. Again, be mindful that these crypto influencers, majority of them do not have it out for your best interest. They are just making money off of your views off YouTube. Now I've shown you guys that we've made some money off of your views off YouTube, but I've also shared that money with you all. So really do appreciate the love and the support for you guys returning back to this YouTube channel. Now, an interesting fundamental breakdown that I have for you guys. I was just doing some deep research on Ripple and XRP, and I stumbled across this company. It's called the IEEE Advancing Technology for Humanity. I'm going to play a video snippet for you guys from a video that is displayed on their website, and I want you guys to listen to who these individuals are. Now, this is roughly a two-minute video, so just sit back, relax. Maybe I will only play maybe like the first minute of it. Just I want you to listen to who these individuals are, and then I want to read a PDF that they have displayed on what XRP is, all right? It's very interesting to say the least. Again, the rabbit hole when you start to do the Ripple XRP research goes so deep. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video breakdown. It's the world's largest technical professional organization. IEEE is dedicated to advancing technology for the benefit 
real fast, I just want you guys to pay attention to the strategic plan 2020 to 2025. I've mentioned these dates for quite some time and people get a little bit iffy and they're like, oh, Cyprus, you make believe, you don't know what you're talking about. But I've told you guys multiple times that people are most likely not going to become millionaires. The people that hold, you know, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 coins of XRP that are hoping for that $1,000 price prediction, this time frame and above is when we can seek to hope for that time frame okay i'm not going to give you guys you know bullish price predictions of a thousand dollars but if you're one of those people who thinks that xrp is going to go to that number this is the time frame guys and gals if you pay attention the devil's in the details via the fundamental articles that you can find that the bank and institutions write they are going to be piloting this technology until this specific date and beyond to the 2030 agenda Okay, it's not going to happen in 2022 or 2023 because the bank and institutions still have to fully integrate their new systems and update everything and then pilot this technology. Even if, even if XRP gets regulatory clarity, bank and institutions aren't just going to absolutely and immediately adopt XRP. They still have to pilot the technology. Okay, they have to test it first. And there's so many bank and institutions that still have yet to pilot the technology. But after they're done piloting and testing the technology, and I'm sure that we'll, we'll get documents when such updates do occur, um, then and only then will the switch be flipped. Okay, so just pay attention. Of humanity, our mission and vision for the future are simple and profound. Our mission is to foster technological innovation and excellence for the benefit of humanity. Our vision is that we will be essential to the global technical community and to technical professionals everywhere and be universally recognized for the contributions of technology and of technical professionals in improving global conditions. Six core values support. All right, so I'll just leave it there. You know, they're all about improving global conditions for the benefit of humanity. Okay. Again, this is the IEEE, okay, Advancing Te Technology for Humanity. And I was just simply doing some research because they're, uh, I'm all about symbolism and I like their little, uh, their little, the little symbol right here. I'm not going to go into detail on that Freemason symbolism right here. Um, that's maybe for another video, but coming over here, guys and gals, again, I was like, hmm, okay, are they connected to Ripple's XRP because of the benefit of humanity spiel that they just gave? Um, looking at their mission statement, we can see IEEE's core purpose is to foster technology, innovation, and excellence for the benefit of humanity, right? Uh, we see IEEE will be essential to the global technical community and technical professionals everywhere and be universally recognized for contributions of technology and of technical professionals improving global conditions. I was like, okay, cool. Are they uh, potentially connected to ripples xrp i mean you cannot make this stuff up guys and gals so coming over here to a pdf that was established by the ieee and the icbc we see right here ieee icbc ie ieee international conference on blockchain cryptocurrency advanced program this happened this year the 2nd to the 5th of May, 2022 in Shanghai, China, right? So we go down here, we search keywords, key phrases, ripple, right? And we go down here and what does it say? The XRP ledger, guys and gals, really pay attention, turn up the volume. If you have friends and family around you, go tap them on their shoulder, tell them, listen, tune in to what it is that I'm about to read. This guy's about to read some life-changing information to you, not financial advice, but go ahead and tap in real quick, okay? The XRP ledger, it, you know what? As a matter of fact, let me pause one more time. If you have one of those massive speakers on your car, right? You pull up to a stoplight right now, you got the boom box in your car, turn up the volume so that cars around you hear what I'm about to read right now, okay? The XRP ledger enhances the existing worldwide payments infrastructure and services by providing XRP tokens to ensure quick liquidity and acting as a global settlement network. XRP can act as a bridge asset that businesses and financial institutions can use to bridge a transfer between two different currencies. I've said to you guys for quite some time, all these bandwagoners that don't do their XRP research that state that XRP is going to be some global one world currency, they are incorrect, unsubscribe, unfollow to them. People are not going to want to utilize a one world currency because there's always going to be that nation that does not want to use that currency because they feel forced to utilize it. XRP was well aware of that ahead of the time. So what did they do? They instead created an asset that allows every single currency to be bridged to one another, guys and gals. That is massive. That is all the money in the world. And you've heard that statement, all the money from both head executives 
Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse openly state that on many interviews. Now to continue, the purpose of this tutorial is to provide the audience with the detailed image of the latest developments concerning the XRP ledger through a theoretical presentation, including several examples, which will be followed by a practical demo. Again, key phrases, they are testing XRP technology right now. The tutorial consolidates the most relevant information from theoretical aspects like ripple consensus and network gossiping mechanisms through simple practical aspects like creating an XRP account or XRP transfer, and to ultimately create a private XRP ledger tested bed. So boom, right there. Again, this is a company, right, who has it in its best interest to benefit humanity. Again, their 2020 to 2025 agenda, you guys saw that in their video display. And they have, again, a whole entire PDF dedicated to Ripple's XRP. They don't have a whole entire PDF dedicated to XLM or Ethereum or Dogecoin or Bitcoin, none other than Ripple's XRP. You guys cannot make this stuff up. The devil's in the details, the naysayers. Are, are literally sleeping on the information that they can find. Anybody that doesn't believe in Ripple's technology is literally at this point insane. And I'm just going to go ahead and flat out say that. I mean, the technology, the devil's in the details. Now I can see why people think that it's some tin hat, you know, conspiracy theory that XRP is going to be a bridge asset that connects all the money in the world because it's unrealistic right now because it's never happened before. But guys and gals, the biggest banking institutions are talking about it. The biggest financial institutions via BlackRock, via Morgan Stanley, via JP Morgan, all these individuals, Citibank, Bank of America. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up, guys and gals. They are talking about Ripple's technology. Ripple's fully integrated with who, guys and gals? I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. Look, Australia, Austria, Brazil, Canada, China, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Italy, India, Japan, Korea, the Netherlands, Norway, Singapore. Ripple has business in all of these areas. What do we see? CFTC, Clearstream, DTCC, Euroclear, okay? European Central Bank, ECBC, okay? Christine Lagarde, we already know, SWIFT, Nexo, NACHA. I just made a video recently how Ripple's connected with them. Bank of England, we already know. Visa, we already know. Major Loop, we already know. Guys and gals, RippleNet. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. It seems unrealistic because of these, these bullish moon boy price predictions. But if you guys stop looking at these bullish moon boy price predictions, you understand that the devil's in the details. You understand the FUD in the market and that they are trying to shake retail traders out. You understand the true utility and value of the cryptocurrency asset XRP. Trust and believe you guys are going to make some very key executive decisions in the upcoming future. Not financial advice. I thought that I'd share this all with you guys. I'm going to make another video talking about how XRP and Ripple is connected with all of these key players right here. Blessings to you guys all. If you guys enjoyed this video breakdown, this mental clarity surrounding the XRP and cryptocurrency markets, how I showed you guys that there are these bullish moon boys out there that get you to chase tops. There's crypto influencers out there that aren't transparent with how much money they're making on YouTube via your views. Guys and gals, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. We really do appreciate the love and the support here at CypherX. And as always, Always be cognizant, be aware, and I'll see you guys in the next YouTube video breakdown. Till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.